after I cut a bagel. Would you like the side that is somehow three times larger than the original bagel, or the side that's the first object to ever only have two dimensions? <laughs> Oh, why is that the most relatable thing I've seen in the last two and a half years on this channel? We've all been there, little pepper. We've all been there. Hell, I'm there right now. The best part about living with my girlfriend is now I eat so many new exotic foods I never ate before, like yogurt or lettuce or breakfast. I want to have a small wedding. No acquaintances, no work friends, no extended family. Also, no close friends, no immediate family, no bride, no venue. Just me alone in a room with a very extravagant cake. I don't sound too bad, honestly. Sounds like a nice night. Sorry I can't today. I have to sit in my room and feel weird. Yeah. At least I get to do that while reading these memes, so I can kind of feel productive, right? Hanging with your boys on a wire must be so fire for a bird. I'm sure it is. What the hell are you? Hot air balloons kick ass. Are they safe? Not really. Can you stop if you don't like it? Think again. But can you steer? Listen, don't bring that negative energy into this wicker basket, okay? I'm gonna light this flamethrower. Hot air balloons are, uh... Yeah, you couldn't pay me enough to get into one, dude. No, thank you. Saw this and can't stop thinking about how much better I am at making plans than God. Yeah, what the hell's God's problem? I don't understand. Me? How can I impress your dad, girlfriend? He's really into cars. Okay. Later. Her dad? Nice to meet you. Let's talk about Pixar's finest movie. Ooh, you got him, man. Shout out to the crowd surfer with a boner so wrecked security had to talk to us about it after the show. <laughs> Recommending anime is hard, because every anime has some amount of anime bullshit, and it's hard to know what someone's threshold for specific types of anime bullshit is, unless you know them extremely well. Dude, I just assume everyone's tolerance for anime bullshit is very small, and I oversell the hell out of it. Just do that. Breaking news! We just got word that this flood was caused by people watching a silent voice. Huh? People come over to your house and are like, can I get myself a glass of water? And you're like, sure. And you look over and they've chosen literally the most random glass you've ever seen. Uh, if it looks weird, I as the guest have to take it. It's the fine china after all. You're low on ink. Never run low on ink again. Is this a threat? Pretty soon they're gonna start becoming threats, yeah. Oh, yeah. you, HP. Turns out the world's greatest drawing of a frog was done in 1790. Is that the truth though? Was this image actually from 1790 or did you draw it trying to be funny? I'm begging y'all to remember that you're naming people, not just babies. A 17-year-old will have that name. A 28-year-old will have that name. A 43-year-old will have that name. A 77-year-old grandparent will have that name. Maybe we should rethink choosing McKensley Grace Yunskaikasisa blah blah, however you say that oh, yeah. name. Yes, I'm shaming. Wanting a less common name is cool, but naming your child KitchenAid Whiskey Jones is borderline abuse. No, no, it, it is abuse. It is. I'm sorry. It's not like the highest level, sure, but you are dooming that person to all kinds of repercussions they didn't oh, yeah. ask for. Being bullied and treated like <clears throat> for the majority of their life, well into adulthood. Not being able to get a oh, yeah. job because they think that your name is unprofessional and you're being a smartass. Don't do it. I'm not being funny here. Don't do it. It's not oh, yeah. funny. It's not oh, yeah. cute. I just had such an embarrassing memory of me being in middle school with a side braid and getting a Starbucks Frappuccino, telling my barista my name was Katniss. Then this poor 20-something had to call out the name Katniss, when that is clearly not my name. I usually say Voltron. Somewhere a San Francisco divorce lawyer is about to have a very exciting day. Is there anyone in the Bay Area with a child who can run in front of my car on full self-driving beta to make a point? I promise I won't run them over. We'll disengage if needed. This is a serious request. This is completely safe as there will be a human in the car. Okay, someone volunteered. They just have to convince their wife. You don't need a real child to do this dip <coughs> experiment, you know. I know you're oh, with people. You don't need a real person to do it. My mom told me I needed to learn how to relax more, so I dropped my kids at her house. Suck it, Mom. When you realize at the end of this decade there may be no members of the Beatles left alive. Okay, but like, imagine if Paul McCartney was just scrolling on TikTok and this came up on his For You page. That would suck. Look, they're not that old, right? Early 80s at this point? I think, what is Paul, like 78, 79? Now nah, they got like 50 more years, man. They're the Beatles, bro. I say that. 
knowing the ratio, but uh, look, two of them were taken early by outside means, all right? Your Tinder date welcomes you into their bedroom. They excuse themselves and go to the restroom, leaving you alone on their bed. What's your next move? Lick their Himalayan salt lamp. Lick their Himalayan salt lamp. Lick their Himalayan salt lamp. All of the above. Really wish they'd put lion under the lion. I mean, yeah, but I don't think there's an actual lion in this movie. Cat churning butter. Germany, 12th century. I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. I'm a cat churning butter. Uh, no. Boss, you've all had three months to come up with the best video game character. What do we come up with? Sega employee. A hedgehog that wears shoes. Meanwhile, at Nintendo, a small plumber from Italy. I go by the movie. I All I see is Bob Hoskins, and he's from Brooklyn. That's all I can see, all right? Also, hey, you make fun, but look at where both of those characters are now. Hell, Mario's the most valuable video game asset ever created. I went on a youth backpacking trip. I asked one of the teens what music he was listening to. He said some classic rock. I assumed he meant Led Zeppelin or something, but then he listed off Blink-182 and Coldplay, and suddenly it felt like I came to America. America on the Mayflower. Wait a minute, you went on a youth backpacking trip and you let them listen to music? We were told we couldn't even sing, dude. There's sibling rivalry. Then there's my four-year-old daughter faking a phone call from her one-year-old brother's nursery to tell us that we don't have to collect him today because he's going to live there now and he won't even miss us. The Chicago-style hot dog implies the existence of the MLA-style hot dog. Oh, I see what you're saying. My mom was me for Halloween. Which one's your mom? No, really, which one? My kids had money to to spend at the store. My daughter bought a toy, and my son bought a rotisserie chicken. Which one of these people is going to be happier at the end of the day? This looks like a werewolf movie. Is it not? Getting pissed off because I can't find 17,000 more songs that sound exactly like the one I'm enjoying, but aren't the song exactly, but make me feel the same way so I can continue the precise vibe. I have the hardest life anybody has ever had, by the way. Same, dude. Were you allowed to express emotions as a child, or do you get that pain in the back of your throat when you feel the need to cry? <laughs> Children aren't allowed to express emotions, especially if they're a boy, because that's gay. Well, that's enough reading for one night. I say on the 30th page of a book that began with a 28-page prologue I skipped. Mm. Uh, this can't be the same brain I was using to read 750-page novels in three days during middle school. Well, to be fair, that 750-page novel you were reading in middle school probably had eight words per page, so... Founder of Costco, drunk as hell. It's gonna have hot dogs and optometrists. Hey, look, make fun of the guy all you want, but I think he told someone on the board of directors or some executive that he'll kill them if they mess with the price of the hot dog and drink, man. That dude's looking out for us. Why do parents bust in your room like they're trying to catch you cheating on them with another pair of parents or something. No, they're just needing a reason to punish you and be mad. I feel like Italy's just trolling us with half of these pasta shapes. There are a lot. Periods, a complete sentence, a typo, an ellipsis. Now you're just being excessive. Yeah, if there's not a term for it, you're just being a little extra, ain't ya, friend? The McDonald's strawberry and cream pie about to make me act up. We always want you to be happy with what you order. Let's talk here. I'm talking about f***ing the pie. Why the f*** oh, yeah. baby clothes got pockets? They don't even own shit. That's a valid point. Movie idea. Aliens abduct a normal family man, not realizing he's a deranged secret closet serial killer with a body count in the dozens. Now he's oh, yeah. loose on their ship as the power goes out. What makes you think some random dude's gonna be able to properly infiltrate and kill all the aliens on a f***ing oh, yeah. spaceship? I mean, it would still be fun. I'd still watch it. But come on, you gotta think about the realisticness of your idea, okay? Why is the pressure to be the bigger person always placed on the person who was wronged? Mm. We love making excuses for those that commit any of said uh, atrocities or annoyances or grievances, whatever you want to call it. I thought Prey was okay, but I'm still sore they passed on my Predator movie pitch where a Predator lands on Earth, never gets out of his ship, just sits around on his computer for a few days and then buys some skulls on the way back home to show his friends. My boyfriend makes my life infinitely more interesting and exciting, and in exchange, I remind him to drink water. Well, to be fair, if you don't remind us, we'll die. The World Excel Championships are on ESPN2 right now, just by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, I learned about that the other day, holy crap, what type of stuff do they do? Because there is no end to what you can do with Excel. Me to my four-year-old son. I just got off the phone with Santa, and he's so angry about what you did that I'm genuinely afraid for your life. We need to put you in hiding, because at this point, I think he would even kill me to get to you. Jesus Christ, what did he do? 
thinking about when I worked in top shop fitting rooms and I was so bored on a dead morning that I got down on the floor and pretended I'd fainted so that I could get sent home. But nobody came, so I had to stand back up and finish my shift. <laughs> Oh, God. Finding $15 sitting in my Venmo balance and treating it like it's in my offshore bank account. <laughs> if you leave it there and forget about it, it's just extra riches. These shots are too similar, and I really don't like either of them. Don't cry about your past. Cry about your future. Everything's going to get worse. What if instead of having sirens, ambulances just played Move <laughs> Get Out the Way by Ludacris? It might honestly be better. Garlic bread grilled cheese, that is all. Hold the f*** oh, yeah. up. You might have did something. Yeah, you just got a lot of people killed. I don't have any self-control, man. You can't do this. My music playlists are the only place in the world where you can listen to Eazy-E, Hatsune Miku, and ABBA within the span of 10 minutes. That's what I mean when I say I listen to a little bit of everything. OpenAI is friggin' hilarious. Write a Reddit Am I the Asshole post about theft. I, 18, male, stole $20 from my little sister, 9, female, to buy cigarettes. Am I the asshole? Edit. To clarify, I have a full-time job and my sister is a child. I know I can afford cigarettes, I just didn't want to spend my own money on them. There's no way that was done by an AI man. No way. That is like every single goddamn post on Am I the asshole. All of them. Oh, you spent 8k to take your kids to Disney? My son just watched the garbage truck empty our trash 20 minutes ago and he's still talking about it. Well, I mean, good for you. I want to go to Disney. Hey, quick question. How do I plot a book? Write down everything thing that happens in the story, and then in your second draft, make it look like you knew what you were doing all along. Thank you, Mr. Gaiman. Excuse me, German Duncan? Mm, I don't know about that one. Calling bowl on, is it uh, acai bowls? They're not healthy. No way. A bowl of sherbet with granola on top. Egg McMuffin is a superior breakfast in any way, including from a health perspective. I am not a doctor and I have absolutely no data to support this claim. Of course you don't, Casey. What do you do now, man? Look, if nothing else, that stupid acai bowl or whatever, I don't know how you pronounce it, it doesn't matter. At the very least, that one probably has a billionth the amount of sodium in it, which I don't know about you, but I don't want to start my morning with 80% my daily value of salt, okay? They did not think that hashtag through. No, they did. They did, dude, trust me. If you're having a bad day or a weird day, you should be allowed to set the towels on fire and Target a little bit. No, I like Target. I left my teddy in my room and the housekeeper did this? So did you give them like a million dollar tip or what? I can't believe how much they shave your teeth down before you get veneers. Imagine you get to this point and your card declined. Oh, oh my God, dude. What? Holy crap. If there's one thing I didn't expect Ben 10 and American Dad to have in common, it's that they both have an episode about ASMR. What? No. Toast and oatmeal kind of day today. Mother oh, yeah. eating the food they gave to horses in World War One. That looks so unappetizing. How can people live like that? 2004 Dave Matthews Band Chicago River Incident. On this day in 2004, 800 pounds of human pit and piss were dumped out of the Dave Matthews Band tour bus onto a boat full of sightseers in Chicago. Why have I never heard about this? I love when people refer to a solution as a silver bullet because it implies the problem is a werewolf. No, it compares the problem to a werewolf, which is a big problem. That's it, man. That That's literally it. Canceling a Scooby-Doo movie for a tax write-down is ironically hilarious. Do you know the motives behind 95% of Scooby-Doo villains? I'm sorry, but the first Scoob was terrible. I mean, as like a random little one-off movie, Scoob was fine, I guess? But it was one of the worst Scooby-Doo stories ever told. I'm not kidding, it was garbage. There was no fucking mystery, dude. Is a scary wet dream a nightmare? Ooh, that's the worst term I've heard yet. 